At the beginning of this record, you heard a girl ask, why not? Why not drugs? Let's hit directly on some why nots now. These comments are from all kinds of people in all parts of the country. Most of them used to use drugs. They don't anymore. And here are some of their reasons. I love the feeling of the dope gives me. I love dope at any size, shape, or form. Hey. And but like I don't like the after effects from it. I still have like like blackouts from speed. I still have I I, I have trouble speaking. You know, like the words are hard hard for me to comprehend and say. And uh, I'll, I get blank spells and things like this. I used to get so tired, man, from stealing TVs. And did I just do it? I wouldn't even care. I'm walking to the store and steal whatever I needed, and I wouldn't even have any cooth about me, man. I wouldn't look around or nothing. I was just so tired of it. Did I just do it, man? I didn't care. I want, you know, you get so sick that you want to get yourself caught. When somebody come up to me and I'm looking greasy, being out there for a week or so, I walk into the store and try to steal food. I'd say, look, man, get away from me. Like, I'm going to steal this food and you ain't going to wait on me. I was putting holes in floors looking for secret staircases and uh, I thought yellow cabs were narcs, narcotics agents. And uh, one day I came down, or slept, and when I woke up, I said, wow, you're really acting crazy. Like, I just looked in the hole in the floor and said, I'm looking for a secret staircase in my apartment. Come on, it's crazy. I think every ex-acid head has the experience of seeing things. Like, you get after flashes for years. Like, it's a pretty, pretty strange experience. That tells me that the chemical still hasn't let me go, you know, and I don't like anything controlling me. Society may be dying, but maybe I can do something to help it. And... I can think when I'm high, but I can't move around and really get anything done because I just kind of want to stay with my music. I can't write songs behind weed as well as I can when I'm straight because I don't remember how I felt when I sang it from one time to the next. Maybe the feelings just are the drug, and when the drug leaves you, so does the feeling. And when you look at it for comfort, it's just replacing something else. And it's a cop-out, it's, it's an escape. You know, all those other terms that make it you know, undesirable for us who want to be free, really free. Not free in terms of movement, but free in terms of choice and, you know, doing without what isn't around, whatever and whoever. If they're in school, they might not think living is fun, because sometimes school's a drag, but uh, living is fun. You're the one that makes the decisions, you're the one that makes the choices. And most people who use drugs have various sorts of reasons which have to do with how messed up the world is. And uh, all I can say is that I agree entirely. The world's in pretty bad shape. And the surest way to make sure that you have no effect on it whatsoever is to use drugs. At least that's a very good way. And uh, the surest way to make sure that any rebellion or real innovative and creative energies you have are blunted and wasted is to uh, expend them through drugs. And if you really want to have a chance to do something about all those problems, you're going to have to uh, make it on your own.